First, tonight, more people speaking out on the incident behind a grand jury indictment of two Kansas City police officers. Officers Matthew Brumette and Charles Pritchard are charged with assault. And we do want to warn you, the photos taken following the incident incident could be hard to look at. The officers are now accused of injuring a transgender woman, Brianna Hill. This was last May during an arrest in front of a beauty supply store, leaving her with the injuries you see on your screen now. Those charges bring the possibility of justice to Hill's family, who say they've waited almost a year from that incident. 41 Action News reporter Nick Starling spoke with them and the man who recorded that video of what happened and gets their reaction to these charges tonight. It's been a tough year for Brianna Hill's family. While they're glad to see charges against those two officers, they believe it doesn't go far enough. We want to warn you, you may find some video in this story disturbing. We missed Brianna. We really do. Brianna Hill's aunt and grandmother have heavy hearts, still reeling from her death in October of last year. Just months before that, in a separate incident, two officers allegedly used excessive force on her. Makes me so emotional and upset because he has family that... Lord help me has family that loves her. On Friday, Jackson County Prosecutor Jean Peters Baker announced charges against KCPD officers Matthew Brummett and Charles Pritchard after a grand jury hearing. Despite these charges, Hill's family says justice was not entirely served. No, they shouldn't have got a misdemeanor. It should have been a felony. It should have been aggravated assault. You don't treat a human being like that. The incident took place outside a beauty supply store, captured on video with Hill's face down on the ground and the two officers on top of her. I'm glad that it was caught on video. Taking that video was Roderick Reed. The family met him in person for the first time Saturday, embracing one another. Reed said he was shocked at the video he took. Like Brian's life meant nothing. It was just so disturbing, so I had to capture it even to me my life he was screaming for help god help me god help me and i couldn't help him because they're the law the family wants transparency and believes the officer should face tougher penalties no matter what the situation is you can't hide the problem you can't hide what's going on in this world they don't deserve to be on the police force at all you know and everybody has the right to be treated as a human being she is missed but justice will be served Justice will be served. We reached out to the attorneys representing the two officers and they tell us they are fully cooperating with the investigation and dispute the basis of the charges and believe they will fully be exonerated in court. Reporting in Kansas City, Nick Starling, 41 Action News. Last night, Police Chief Rick Smith issued this in response. Investigators determined that there was no probable cause to conclude the officers broke the law. That is why our department did not submit a probable cause affidavit to the prosecutor. However, we did submit the entire file to federal prosecutors, the FBI, and the county prosecutor. We do that in every matter where someone could possibly allege a civil rights violation. Officer Bramette and Pritchard are both set to appear before a judge in August. The victim, Brianna Hill, was killed months later in a shooting. That suspect is in custody. We have more on the statements from both sides over on our website. You can find them at KSHB.com. You can also find them on our 41 Action News app.